Hello, this is Alexander Nikov. Today is uh, Thursday, March 10th, 2011. We are 20 minutes before the close of the US stock market. So let's take a look at the S&P 500 uh, index. And of course, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, NASDAQ as well. After the big down day today, uh, let's first go to the hourly chart of S&P 500. Notice this sideways consolidation that we've been following for more than a more than a week, actually more, uh, close to two weeks, this sideways consolidation has been persistent. And today, a big town day uh, that broke below the, the support, the most recent support level of uh, 13.05. And now the market is pressure, is, is right at the uh, 12.95 level, which is uh, the uh, low that was first achieved after the first decline uh, due to the, the situation in Libya. And going back to the daily chart, uh, if a close below 12.95 is uh, seen today or tomorrow, uh, that will confirm a trend change on the daily chart and namely will confirm that a short term top is in place. Uh, the question in this case will be how much lower the market uh, can go from, from here. And um, one, uh, one consideration that uh, can be made is that uh, uh, probably we are not going to see a much deeper pullback because the larger trend on the daily chart, the larger trend from the uh, August 2010 low is still intact. Notice the prices are firmly above the rising 100 day and 200 day moving averages. So uh, actually this short term uh, uptrend uh, and of course the medium term uptrend is also higher. So uh, Probably a small correction, a small pullback, pullback towards the 1270 le uh, level can be expected. But uh, the reason why I'm concerned that a bigger uh, correction on the downside is uh, going to, to be seen in the next uh, several months, actually, is uh, this, um, this wave count. Uh, that we've been following on our uh, website for quite for quite some time. This wave count actually um, indicates and uh, suggests a diametric formation from the August uh, 12, 2010 low, 210, uh, 2010 low. And um, as you can see, if this count is correct, it means that this the corrective advance Yes, this advance, though it's really strong from the August uh, 2010 low, uh, this advance is corrective. And um, if, if uh, this advance is going to be uh, corrected now, a deeper pullback toward um, 1182 or even, even below can be expected in the next uh, several months. So we are looking... Uh, as per this wave count, we are looking for a much deeper and much longer pullback than uh, the current trending conditions uh, suggest. So keep in mind this wave count, though the pullback from the recent high may turn out to be a short-lived correction, probably ending in a week or two. Also uh, keep in mind this picture that a larger, a larger pullback lasting several months can be can be actually seen and uh, the current decline is just the start of this uh, uh, pullback. So uh, going back to the current chart of, uh, chart of S&P 500, uh, notice that uh, the daily oscillators are now negative, so also suggest lower prices ahead. Um, the key resistance now is uh, the 1332 level, uh, the resistance of the that kept the prices for the most uh, for the past uh, two weeks or so. So this is the key level on the upside, and only if the prices manage to move back above this level, the daily chart will be definitely bullish again. Uh, let's take a look at Nasdaq for more clues. And Nasdaq is actually weaker right now, it's underperforming the uh, broader market and that's another negative sign, but it's still above the rising 100 day and 200 day moving averages. So probably uh, the first downside uh, target and um, the most likely downside target for this pullback is the 2236 level. Notice this, uh, this is um, a strong level, chart level, uh, prior resistance back in December uh, last year. And uh, right now uh, at this level uh, currently is located the 100 day moving average. So uh, a pullback toward this level is seen. Firm break below there is needed to confirm that a larger degree 
uh, top has been made and uh, a larger pullback toward uh, 1960 probably is um, underway. Uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, some other indicators. Uh, let's go to VIX. The volatility uh, has increased recently. That's another negative sign. It's still below this uh, uh, trend line connecting the October and December, December and uh, February highs of the VIX index. Uh, so it's still below there, but a small pattern of uh, higher, higher highs and higher lows has, has been established here uh, since the February low in the VIX, uh, in the VIX index. So the volatility right now is increasing and that's negative. Uh, there is no spike here, unlike these uh, previous situations where we saw a uh, spike in VIX, which actually was uh, a buy signal for, for the broader uh, stock market. Right now, there is no spike here. The volatility is simply rising, which is uh, actually a negative sign. Uh, so a negative uh, signal from the volatility suggests uh, more downside for, for the stock market. And um, going to the... Uh, one ratio that we've been following in our previous videos uh, is the SPY divided to TLT. This is the uh, stocks to bonds ratio. And notice this is the weekly chart. Notice this ratio is uh, still uptrending. So no case, uh, no reasons for concern here. The trend is still higher for stocks uh, over bonds. That means the market participants are likely to continue to favor stocks over bonds. Uh, going to another chart that we've been following, uh, this is the chart of, um, oh, excuse me, uh, let's take a look at the, the SOX index. This is the uh, semiconductor index, one of the most strongest uh, sectors uh, in, in the market uh, since the August uh, 2010 low. And right now, this um, this uh, sector is breaking lower. Uh, the prices are already at the 100-day moving average, which is uh, um, kind of a outperforming of this uh, sector uh, for the past uh, two or three weeks. So that's a negative sign. Um, when when the, the the leading sector is uh, reversing, that's that's quite negative. So let's see if uh, the 100-day moving moving average will hold here. If it doesn't, then a pullback toward uh, 4, 400 level or even toward 370 level uh, will be inspected in semiconductors. So overall, uh, still neutral picture if, if we uh, sh should be um, objective, a quite neutral picture right now. But there are signs right now that a major breakdown is uh, occurring. And if that's uh, confirmed, and it will be confirmed by a close below the 1295 uh, level, if that's uh, that's confirmed, a larger pullback, probably lasting two, three, or four months, can be expected uh, ahead. So that's all for today. Uh, I'll be talking to you again later this month.